take two. So yeah, it's um, Wednesday morning, last depletion workout of the day, of the week, sorry. Last workout before we fly out tomorrow. Um, so today is gonna be back, biceps and abs. Uh, yesterday's workout, unfortunately, we filmed, we got a new camera, but we're still getting to terms with it, so uh, the footage didn't come out as planned, so we're gonna try and get this one on the camera. So we're here early morning, and now we're just gonna get our food in, chill out for the day, and then get some sessions in later. Don't, you're not training today, are you? No, rest day for me. No, rest, rest day for Scott, so he's putting me through another session. Um, I'm not training with anyone, just because it's more of a, it's a lighter session. I explained, and what I'll do is I'll, I'll recap from the video yesterday, because no one's seen it. It's basically a depletion workout is um, getting the last bits of glycogen out of your muscles, not doing nothing too crazy, nothing too strenuous, just literally bringing through all that, that final little bit of detail, um, ready for the carb up on Thursday. So yeah, we'll keep you posted and uh, stay tuned. Fresh trim accomplished. Now it's back to the gym to uh, get the pre-workout in. I had my pre-workout meal about an hour ago, uh, so I let that settle for about 90 minutes before I got my pre-workout drinking. I got some Limitless ready. Hit back to the gym and then Scott's putting me through the session. So yeah, just had to get a little trim, you know, you got you to stay fresh before these shows, you got to feel good about it, so fresh trim. Big shout out to Jay. Um, like I said, just one barber the year. Sick barber, I smashed it this year, so yeah. Uh, back to the gym we go. Wait, where's <laughs> the beard gone? I've uh, got to get them extra kilos off. <laughs> Even though I'm doing a height class. Trust. Um, yeah, and uh, I feel like he's a man look as well. Now nah, you look like fresh, you look fresh and young now. Yeah. Minus the cheekbones. Uh, workout for today is basically back, biceps, abs. We've got single arm lat row, lat pull down, seated row, upper back row, reverse pet deck, single arm machine curl, Arm cable curl and abs, two sets, 15 reps, two reps shy of failure. I'm not trying to kill myself, I'm not doing anything crazy like I said before. Depleting, getting rid of that glycogen, bringing all that detail for us. Let's get it. Mad to certain things, but the littlest things, sorry. Yesterday when we were trying to record, I felt like quite full after the workout and kind of getting half a pump now. I'm moving my arms and I can't feel anything. That's good though, that's what you yeah. want. That's what we need. So we carb up as soon as we land. So that, you, watch, you watch your first meal tomorrow then? If uh, I fly it at 60, how does that work tomorrow? Yeah, obviously it's slightly different as well, due to like taking food away on planes and stuff like that. So I pack some certain things in my suitcase. Hopefully we get through uh, customs and that with that. But I've been told in my hand luggage I can have my first meal ready for when I land. So I've got 100 gram Cocoa Pops, um, 100 gram banana, two Nutri-Grain bar, bars, and 20 gram of protein from an isolate way, which I've literally just put on top of the cocoa pops and then grab a bottle of water, put it on there, and literally as soon as we hit the floor, bam, get the bars in straight away. So that's probably like, what's that? 80, nearly close to 200, 150, 200 gram carbs, maybe. Close to that, so that's what we need, man. Feel any pressure of the amount of people that like are following the journey and whatnot? Uh, to be honest, yeah, a little bit because obviously I always want to do well. But a few people have asked me now, like, um, you feel nervous. And I feel like I kind of I do, but it's like the second you walk on stage and then it all goes. But for you to work this hard and spend this long prep, spend this long prepping, I don't think you can be nervous because you've worked so hard not to just go and enjoy it. 
And that's what I think we all tell everyone, like when you're on stage or when you've got to that point, there's not much more you can do. Go and enjoy it. And if anything, nerves will kind of make it worse. Like just, just go out there, enjoy it and show people what you've worked for, how hard you've worked. And show it off, enjoy that day. It's like your fucking wedding day really, isn't it? Got some more water. <laughs> Yeah, the girls get better, I don't know, man. Don't get satisfied, never getting satisfied, that's what Jake said. I like that. Uh, yeah, I'm the best I've been to date, so I can't complain. I said that I'll enjoy it now. So so far so quick. Just just shows a, what a good work rate can do, isn't it? And uh, when are we due to see yourself back on stage? September. Fourteen weeks. Return of blessed about Yay. return. <laughs> Got a point to prove, mate. That's it. Whole, whole team's doing bits and I'm just sitting back. There you go, I think that's the progress of a year, less than a year. And then how long have we had off? Isn't it? September. There we go then. So if that's anything to go by, people, just get ready. Troy looks a lot fuller. He's about stone heavier than he was last year, and he's four days depleted, and he probably looks as he did on show day last time. So when he adds in the carbs, potentially, which is going to be a thousand, or is it going to be about? Uh, I reckon in total, probably about two thousand over the two days. So two thousand carbs is going to have pushed into him over the next two to three days. He's going to look outrageous. And I don't think he can be any tighter, to be fair. I literally don't. I think when he pulls his water down, he's still on eight litres, uh, drops down to six and a half, and then he goes down to one litre. And at the moment, he looks like he's show ready, already three, four days out. So when he depletes the water, well, more. To be fair, it's mad because like the, the, the first fruit, two quarters, two quarters, two thirds of it seemed to just, he wasn't really working at all. And it, yeah. Not he wasn't working hard, but he was just, Cruising. His body was reacting really well to everything. He weren't hitting too much cardio. Energy was good. And then, but then the last two to three weeks have literally been how, like you can see it in him, you can see it in his face. Like to get that depleted, it takes a lot out of him. So uh, I wouldn't say it's like a weakness, but he's definitely struggled towards the last few weeks. But then obviously that's, you know how we all work. That's where we all come in. And we've got a good support network. Not just us, like everyone in the gym. We've got a good little support network. So anytime he is feeling shit or he's not, Working hard enough, or we see him, you know, needs a bit of a lift. One of us is helping, so in that sense, like the little weaknesses or signs of weaknesses that kick in there, we're all there to help. I'll be going out with Troy, I'm probably rolling him. Um, what's he called? Muffin? Did you call him? Um, Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the Mick Man. So basically, for Nava World's Swench Gang, Mick Man. That's it. So hashtag Mick Man underneath. But yeah, we're going to be there supporting him. 
with my pom-poms as it normally goes. Um, you'll probably hear me. And make sure you look out for the light. You're going to be doing this video? Yeah, we're we'll going to be... Will you drop this video before Saturday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay then, so everyone, make sure you're watching your socials and look out for the live video that will be on the day. So it'll probably be on YouTube, won't it? Normally, yeah, yeah, normally yeah. on YouTube. And it will be, I'll probably do a live feed. And I'm sure Scott will as well. So look out for that. Yeah, to be fair, I'm going to, uh, well, I've already started prep. I'm like three weeks in, but I've got a long prep, like 16, 17 weeks in total. But the whole, we've all taken the same approach this time, and obviously we've learned from Troy's, learned from Theo's. Um, and the main thing is staying as big and as full as possible and bringing the body fat down. That way, rather than focusing on the body fat, which sounds a bit backwards, but a lot of people diet so hard and lose a lot of muscle. And I think we all did that to a certain extent last year. Like not too much, but enough to notice. And obviously the way Troy's done it this year, if you look, he posted a picture the other day, his before and after start to end the prep and he looks just as big. He just literally slowly chipped away at all the body fat. So definitely gonna use elements of his prep in mine. Um, but obviously tweak it along the way for, for my body. Shout out to everyone watching, following the series, so let's gang to the world. We're finally taking it to Europe tomorrow and we're flying off to Italy. So, like I said earlier, we'll get um, an episode out tomorrow as well. Big Swen Spielberg on the buttons, and obviously, with his rapid speed, we'll get the video out hopefully tomorrow. So, stay tuned for the next episode. Last workout done. Next time you'll see me is on the plane with a Nutri Grain bar. See you guys tomorrow. Now, to be fair, he looks a lot fuller than he did last time, so this time he's a lot drier. <laughs> and what? The fuck? Is he full of a dryer? Hey, do you know what? Take two, take two, take, take two. two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How is Troy looking this year compared to last? Okay. Yeah? Start again. Go again. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, I feel like I'm getting hot and sweaty now. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, from um. <laughs> oh, I forgot the question. No. From uh. Here he is. Oh, Troy! Hey, good luck Saturday! <laughs> Pull that, put sort your shorts out. <laughs> Always take them off. Um, um, so, uh, so, um, so, yeah, we'll keep you posted and uh, stay tuned.